Alright, I was going to do a quick little video here for you to run through the functionality on the Samsung A707 Sync. It's been a great phone. I've had it for a couple years now and I've learned a lot about it. Battery and SIM are in the back. SD card slot on the right side. USB connection and power charger on the left side there. you got two buttons up and down for your volume. Left side you have a quick button that can open several several different options. When you open that up, press that quick button, it gives you the option for your media player, camera, or your profiles. That works out real nice to get a quick way to get to the camera. When you get to the camera, quick shortcut couple, press option one, that'll switch you over to video camera. One again will switch you back to the camera. frame size, 3 switches your quality. Now you can also go to options and go down to the uh, camera settings, number 8 there, and scroll through and you've got straight to all the different options. And there's a lot of different options. It's actually a pretty robust camera built in for the age of the phone. Now there is also on the home page, you can go to straight in the middle is your internet top right and left is menu and options in the options I have number one being my stuff you can go to the memory card or to on the phone and you have direct shop options it actually has pretty good file management you get select options again on the left side there it gives you a pretty good list of options that are available to do Go back out of that. You got Bluetooth. This in the options menu has 12 slots. You can assign anything in the phone to, to customize how you want. Now on the front there is also a key just below that options key. This allows you to switch back and forth. You can have the internet, messaging, and call all going simultaneously. And this little uh, button on the side here allows you to switch back and forth so you can have all three of those going at once press this little button here and that pulls up this menu which will let you switch back and forth that's pretty handy if you want to send a text message while you're on a phone call or if you're online when somebody calls you you can switch back and forth to your uh, internet and still be on the phone if you use bluetooth Let's see, other options, the keyboard's pretty standard, contacts, I've got some quick setup, up, right, left, and down, you can assign different functions for each of those. Currently, up is your alarm clock, down is your contacts, right is calculator, and left is voice memo. Voice memo I found to be one of the better options on this phone, it's really great for just a quick thing, you just open it up left hit record hit stop it archives them for you great little voice memo recorder calculator is not bad contacts have a lot of nice features you can export and send them as VCF files you can also import from VCFs the alarms you can create new ones and set them up however you want very nice also has the auto power up feature this allows you to have the phone turned off and your alarm will still turn on and wake you up. If you go into the menu, cellular video, it, over the 3G does have the capability of doing video. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I haven't covered. That's pretty much it. On the front, that's not it. You can assign a picture to that if you want. I put it back on the clock for now. You have a short amount of time when that's after you've opened it. You can press the play, pause, fast forward, rewind. Those will control your uh, audio if you have the media player running. Now here's a little trick. This little handy quick button on the side. If you press and hold that for a couple seconds, it'll come up with a menu. Use that up and down on that side to go to media player, camera, profiles, or exit. Profiles being uh, your... Uh, normal, silent, gives you a lot of different options. 
you can set those up how you want. I actually, uh, you can do that a little quicker. If you were to uh, open it up, press that side button, go to profiles, and silent. That's a quick way to put everything into just vibrate only. And then back to normal. One other thing I was going to show you, though, on this front, with the camera lens being there, if you press and hold this, go to camera, press this once again, then you can see yourself in the front and take a picture of yourself, of your own face to send to somebody or whatever you want to do with it, and then you go to options. You flip it open and you're going to see that picture. Or to go to it, options, my stuff, go over to the memory card, graphics, and there it is. Oh, that's the one I took earlier. Here's the one you wanted. So anyway, that's a good brief overview of just about everything with this phone. A lot of good features. It's uh, not top of the line anymore, but it's certainly still got a lot of good features and very usable. Very good battery life. Hope you enjoy it.